Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. It is your girl Brittany Jade and I am so excited to be coming at you guys with a really cool video today. I am going to be showcasing how I get into ketosis super fast within three days. showing you guys how you can get into ketosis really fast in three days to be exact and I just started this lifestyle again because as some of you know and if you don't know and you're new here I had a baby about three and a half four months ago now and I was on the keto lifestyle before I was pregnant and a little bit during pregnancy but it just wasn't sustainable for me so it's been about ten let me do the math here before I embarrass myself on YouTube two days later yeah so it's been about 13 14 months or so since I've actually done the keto diet and honestly it's the best diet for me I feel like I have the best results I feel like I feel the best I'm light I just feel energetic I don't feel tired or lethargic my skin thrives I overall just feel like the maximum self that I can be. So I'm really excited to show you guys how you can get into ketosis in three days really fast following a very specific low carb diet, obviously with high fats, and how easy it is. It is going to be a little bit of an adjustment, but what I want to do is showcase to you all how you can beat the dreaded keto flu. And so many of my friends have told me that that is the main reason why they quit this diet is because they start feeling the ailments of having a low carb lifestyle and why that is is because your body is so used to burning carbs as a source of energy that when you take those away your body kind of goes into shock and it sort of resembles flu like symptoms you start feeling tired you might feel groggy you might have a headache you might just feel overall kind of sicky and a lot of people hate that feeling so what do they do they go back to their old habits I want to express to you guys the importance of increasing your electrolytes, increasing your water intake, and making sure that you're eating a lot of healthy fats and you're not limiting yourselves with calories because that is how American society has kind of told us to diet is to watch your calorie intake. But with keto, you don't necessarily have to count calories. You're mostly watching your macros, your fat intakes, and your carb and sugar intakes and making sure that you're lowering the latter too. So I'm really excited to show you guys how I break myself into keto really fast I actually just kicked myself out yesterday because your girl had pizza and she had birthday cake it was my niece's birthday and it was so much fun and I already had planned for it ahead of time I was actually slightly in keto I was actually slightly into ketosis before the birthday. Um, I had tested and I had moderate levels, but not where I wanna be anyways. And I had been doing keto for about four days or so. So I really wanna get deep into ketosis. Another thing that I wanna point out is that I am still pumping. I am an exclusive pumper. We still nurse like maybe once or twice a day, but I do still pump. And I already have a pretty low breast supply that I've been working on for a very long time now. If you have not, seen my breastfeeding journey I'll have that linked in the cards for you guys and down below in the description box but I am still able to breastfeed and I am still able to keep up the little bit of breast milk supply that I do have so I know that I have some nursing mama friends that are worried about their milk supply so I'm hoping that this video can shed a little bit of light on how you can keep your breast milk supply going and how you can also make sure that you're fighting this dreaded keto flu and making sure that that doesn't happen to you and hopefully you can shed some weight and adapt this lifestyle that is the goal of today's video so i'm so glad that you guys clicked on this video if you're new here i hope that you would consider hitting that subscribe button and sticking around i post a lot of mom content on mondays i do mommy vlog videos or mom style sit down videos where i try and do like educational type videos or anything related to motherhood on wednesdays i do a lot of healthy eating videos um what i eat wednesdays are a hot one that i'm doing right now and on fridays i am implementing currently a vlogmas friday because that is what we are doing right now in the month of December and I'm hoping in the future I can just implement more like vlog style day in the life type cleaning videos or whatever is going on in my life. So I hope that y'all like that style content and you just go ahead and keep on watching and let's get on into this. So the method that I'm following to get into ketosis really fast is actually from a blog called I'm Breathing, I'm Hungry and I will have that link down below for you guys. 
The blog writer on this showcased how to get into ketosis extremely fast. They follow a low animal um, dairy products, a low sugar, and a very high fat minimum, car uh, minimum protein, low carb diet. And they also have free meal plans on that blog as well as how to get into ketosis in three days. So I am going to be piggybacking off of that with adding a few modifications in there and what I add in my diet just because I'm breastfeeding, but I am I'm going to follow that guideline. As far as items that you'll need to get into ketosis really fast, I do have a keto grocery haul that I have linked down in the cards for you guys and in the description box as well. Pretty much everything that you're going to need will be listed in the description box. And how the style of this video will go is that you'll follow me for three days and everything that I am eating and how I'm feeling and I will showcase it at the end of this three days. Hopefully I'm in ketosis, but I don't know. So. I'm going to start off by testing my ketones and I did that by ordering keto testing strips and I'll show you guys those. So these are the keto testing strips that I got and I will have these linked in Amazon down below for you guys. They're just little strips that you either dip in urine or you pee on or whatever and you leave it for 45 seconds and these are the levels that show you how you are doing. I am aiming to get in between these two colors right here and that is my goal for the end of this three-day journey. So let's go ahead and get testing and see where we're at right now and where we'll be in three days. So yeah, I'm basically not in ketosis at all. I definitely match up with the none level here, which says that I am not in ketosis at all. So yeah. I so I pretty much knew that I wasn't in ketosis because the one thing about this diet is, is it is kind of strict in the form that you cannot have carbs or sugars or go over your max carbs or sugars for the day because it's so easy to get kicked out. However, there are, oops. However, there are tons and tons of keto sweets and snacks and treats that you can have that you don't feel like you're missing out and that you don't have to like overindulge on the bad stuff. So I'm hoping that I can showcase that for you guys. And I'm just gonna start off today with just some breakfast and I'm just gonna do some eggs with a little bit of cheese, some spinach, and then I'm gonna have some keto coffee. Okay, so it's super important that you get in a ton of water, but another thing that is super important is replenishing your salt. When you go on the keto diet, you basically make it so that your body retains water. It doesn't retain water the same way. So it's really important that you get sodium and other electrolytes into your body and you replenish them um, a lot. Otherwise, you're gonna start feeling those awful like withdrawals. So I use this Morton Light Salt. This is what I do. And I put about maybe half of a teaspoon or so in my water and I'll mix it with some Mio. This is my favorite flavor right now. Of course, feel free to use whatever sugar-free water additive you have. And this makes your keto aid and this is very important. So I will be drinking plenty of water and I will be replenishing my electrolytes a lot during this process just so that I don't have the keto flu and that is going to be a super super important aspect make sure that you are keeping up your electrolytes and for my keto coffee all I do is I add a tablespoon of grass-fed butter I do use the Kerrygold and I also use this looser and heavy whipping cream and because I'm not following a super super strict keto diet I am going to be using the sugar-free coffee mate and this is the Italian sweet cream. I've used this stuff before, but honestly, I just cannot do coffee plain without any sort of like sweetness in it. And I don't feel too bad doing this because the carb count on this is really, really good. It's like less than one gram. So yes, another alternative if you didn't want to use the coffee creamer is to use maybe like a liquid stevia or any other sugar alternative that you have like monk fruit sweetener or sugar-free vanilla syrup or something like that. And there you have it, quick easy breakfast for day one. So we're gonna be at church today, so I'm going to be bringing these two cheese sticks and these almonds. This is probably more than a serving, this is probably like double the serving, but I don't know when I'm gonna be able to have lunch, so I'm bringing this snack for my morning snack number one. 
Okay, so lunch today is going to be a tuna salad, and this is just a bed of mixed greens and baby spinach topped with some prepackaged tuna that I mixed up with some mayo and mustard, some red and green bell peppers, some red onions, some cucumber, some tomato, and a dressing of oil and vinegar there with cracked pepper and some salt. And I did have a Diet Coke with that. And then also for dinner tonight, I just had some zucchini pasta, and this is just spaghetti meat with zucchini noodles instead of regular pasta and a little bit of the leftover side salad and I topped that with some blue cheese dressing. Hey guys, so it's day two of my keto reboot and <clears throat> I am actually out of my house this morning and the time right now is 11:45. we left super early this morning because i had to go and get my oil changed and so i did pack myself a breakfast and a lunch option because i knew i was going to be out of the house but i wasn't sure how long and i wanted to be prepared so let me show you guys what all i packed and what i'm planning on eating today i have just been drinking a ton of water and i've also had my coffee and in my coffee today is the same as yesterday so don't judge my lunchbox it's super old and it's ripped I think this was my husband's old lunchbox but you know what it gets the job done so last night I had prepared one of those sausage patties I've had them in a what I eat Wednesday video before and then I just did some sauteed zucchini and mushrooms and I will have that for like my first meal of the day and then I have two hard-boiled eggs that I'm gonna eat with that so that is like my breakfast or my first meal and then I also packed in here a salad let me show you that so I packed in here a salad and this just has like mushrooms, tomatoes, cucumber, um, buttercream lettuce, some cheese, uh, and some green onion, or so, I'm sorry, some red onion. And then to go with that, I got some sugar-free Ken's blue cheese dressing. I'll try and have that link down below so you guys can check that out. It's really good blue cheese. And then this is just some tuna that I had made. It's a little bit that I have left over and if there's not enough tuna in there, and I just, it's one of these packets of tuna but this is actually pink salmon but it's like one of these packets of tuna actual tuna and I had mixed it with mayonnaise and um, some Dijon mustard and so I just have like a little bit of that left and I brought this chicken of the sea pink salmon in case it wasn't enough and this is the sweet and spicy and then I also packed in here some almonds and I also have in here some celery and carrots. And then I have some of my keto cookies, keto holiday cookies. And I'm pretty sure that this video uh, for the sweet treats went up last week. So you guys um, should definitely check that out for keto sweet treats because I am known to have a sweet tooth. So it is like essential that I have sweet options to pick from. So definitely make sure you check out the sweet treat and fat bomb recipe that I put out. And if you guys, if you guys want to see more options for like different sweets recipes that I can make, if you have a sweet tooth like I do, because let's face it, I'm a breastfeeding mom and uh, your girl has a sweet tooth. If you guys are interested in seeing more videos like that, drop a comment down below because I have so many more recipes that I found that I would love to make more fat bomb recipes, more like holiday treats or like cookies, brownies, cakes even. So I would love to do that for you guys. Just let me know down below if that's something you're interested in. But this is all I'm eating today for right now I'll show you guys what I have for dinner tonight and then I think I'll test again tonight and kind of see where I'm at I tested this morning and I was still kind of like no trace slash like a small amount so I'll see where I'm at after eating like this today okay I forgot to update you guys on what I had for dinner but <laughs> I ate it all now but it's just these leftover um, chicken wings that I made that's got the sh uh, sugar ray barbecue sauce on it it's sugar-free barbecue sauce and I had some buffalo wings with the Frank's buffalo sauce and then for dipping I used this Ken's chunky blue cheese dressing I love this dressing it's so good and it's really low carb and low sugar let me see if I can show you the stats here
yeah, so there is only one gram of carbs and one gram of sugar for every two tablespoons. So I had about a tablespoon and a half, I'd say, and I didn't even honestly eat it all. But yeah, that's what I had for dinner. All right, guys, it is the morning of day three, and as you can see here, I'm at about a moderate now. So let's see if I can't get hopefully to large by the end of tonight. Yay, this is day three, so we're doing pretty good. Hey guys, welcome to day three. I am going to be showing you just a really quick omelet I'm gonna make. These are all the veggies that I'm going to uh, saute up really quick. I've just got some zucchini, some red onion, some red bell pepper, green bell pepper, mushrooms, and then some fresh tomato. I'm not gonna saute this. And I'm just gonna saute it in some avocado oil. And I've got my eggs over here cooking. And I've just topped it with a little bit of cheese. And that's what I'm gonna flip over and make into the omelet. And there she is. Beautiful and ready to go. And then I also have my keto coffee here. So lunch today is leftovers from what I had for dinner yesterday. It's just some more of that zucchini pasta and I topped this with some Parmesan cheese because hello, cheese is life. And then for my snack today, I went ahead and had a cheese stick and a serving of pepperoni. This is one of my favorite snacks and it is so, so good and so filling. And then for dinner tonight, I am doing a crock pot recipe, which I had listed in my last vlog, so definitely go check that out. It is sugar-free crock pot ribs, and I paired that with Trader Joe's cauliflower mash and some roasted broccoli, and that is my dinner for the night. All right, you guys, so here is my day three. It is Wednesday morning now. And I attempted this on Saturday, I cheated, and on Sunday I started um, the ketosis reboot. And here are my results. So yeah, I'm really happy with how fast this took, and my milk supply did not take a diminish at all. On Monday I was pumping about nine ounces, and as of last night I had pumped 11 and a half ounces, which obviously isn't a lot, but I already have a low supply, so just alternating my diet, um, I did not lose the amount of breast milk I was able to produce myself personally. So if you have any issues with your milk supply reducing while you're on this diet, make sure that you're increasing your fats and your water, making sure that you're eating lots of nuts. Um, and you know, don't feel like you have to stay under 20 grams of carbs a day uh, if you're having issues with your supply. Like you can definitely all right guys, so my camera cut out and my SD card is full, so I'm just going to include in here that if y'all have any other questions for me, please don't hesitate to comment them down below. And if you're struggling again with keeping up your supply, you definitely wanna make sure that you're upping your calorie intake and your healthy fats before you increase more carbs. But again, this is all about being flexible. It's not about being super strict and rigid, so do whatever works for you. And again, if you have any questions or if I can be of any assistance, please don't hesitate to ask. I love helping people. Make sure you're following me over on my Instagram and make sure that you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe if you're new here and I will catch you guys in my next one. Thanks. Bye.